Welcome back to another video everyone. We're going to discuss why AMC ought to be $32 today. This movie covers much more ground than simply how they never closed and how they made $140 billion in shorts. Watch it now. The intrinsic value of one AMC stock, according to the base case scenario, is $37.5. This means that, compared to the current market price of $453, the AMC NC Entertainment holding is undervalued by 88%. Therefore, if we look at the value of AMC right now, which is determined by algorithms based on statistics, it says that, in the very base case, AMC should be at least $37.5. Keep in mind that this is taken into account when looking at AMC's fundamentals and long-term projections. This isn't including the squeeze potential, this isn't including if shorts have to cover billions of synthetics, and just talking about the reflection of the value of AMC right now is that it should be at least $37 and again way higher than that as well. This is the very minimum and what we are right. Now is undervalued by 88%. And so what's interesting is obviously we have the earnings coming up right now, now the earnings. Coming out right now is very important because then we'll have an understanding of even how undervalued we are. Remember that the earnings can change the intrinsic value, the base case for a C to push it up even higher. And so therefore we understand right now what the current price of AMC it truly is. Just a reflection of the corruption, the manipulation, and the suppression that is in the market to show that a stock that should be worth $37 is only at where we are right now of $467. Now, furthermore, what we can see is this why am I excited about the AMC earnings call? Well, because I want to know how. Good my company is doing, am I expecting something with the price? I haven't been here long enough to know that it's manipulated, but I'm thrilled about my company's growth, so that's all. This is a really interesting argument because... As we've discussed previously, AMC's earnings are crucial. First, the earnings can tell us what AMC's base value is, which helps us to comprehend the suppression that the company is currently experiencing and how undervalued we are. It can also tell us how big of an opportunity and potential AMC has by investing in the company, but it's also crucial to understand AMC's long-term projection once more. AMC, in the end, preventing bankruptcy is what matters most to AMC. Shorts will always be trapped as long as AMC is in operation, and they will have to reimburse us for thousands of dollars for each share of AMC that we hold in addition to having to repay the amount they paid to cover the shorts. It seems as though a million, 1.1 million, and now 2.2 million shares are available for borrowing in order to short AMC. All of this is a prelude to what is going to occur. Remember that even if AMC demonstrated really high earnings, such as making 50 or 100 million dollars in a single day, that would draw on investors and instill trust in them yet, you're stuck with what you now have. The 404 million shares that are concealed in options and locates which the SEC presented to us have already been discussed. There are numerous other ways for them to thwart AMC, as we have also observed it in offshore shares of FTDs. Although 2.2 million shares is a significant increase from 900,000 shares, they still need additional shares in order to file a lawsuit. You can also tell by simply looking at the RSI how long they've been able to manipulate the stock in order to maintain such obvious corruption, all of which is explained and demonstrated by Abe's whole farce. We've noticed that the RSI for AMC has been abnormally low for a very long time, as you can see here below 30, and this should demonstrate to you how much AMC costs. However, this is merely to illustrate. First, comparing the RSI and ABBB tells you that the current oversold condition is not the result of people selling, and the OBV shows us that AMC's investors have consistently remained in the company. The reason why we're seeing AMC RSI to be at such a low value is due to the con shorting is due to the constant spoofing that is done by these hedge funds, by these short sellers, by these institutions that are out there, and that very fact shows the corruption there is in AMC here, and you can see. Why they are doing this and what we have right now is news Goldman Sachs securities, so not yet purchased raised from $110 billion to $250 billion in one year. Now this is an increase of $140 billion. What's interesting is the fact that they have continuously spowed AMC in this last year. And what they have right now is the increase in security sold not yet purchased. So going back to this, going back to the RSI, continuously being at such a low point, we're seeing many firms who have been shorting AMC to all see an increase in their security sold not yet, um, but purchase in their securities, um, sold, and what we have right now is a very clear confirmation that the short who have been shorting AMZs, who are shorting AMZ, is continuing to short AMC, is continuing to short AMC, is continuing, continuing to increase their position, and that's why this very RSI that we are. 
Seeing right now isn't because retail investors are panicking or feeling scared and are selling that is not the case it is because of the short sellers out there that are suppressing and manipulating the price. Furthermore, what we can see is this from IAM Shorts never close this specific screenshot. Shows the purchasing activities of traders that have significant short bets in GameStop. Now what you guys have to understand is that the buy volume from these short sellers isn't the blue bar, it is the red bar. The tiny red bar that you guys are seeing down here is. The short seller buy volume, so this is a clear example and a clear data showing that the shorts never close now. This is of course for GameStop, but we know the same applies for AMC as well. And so it's very important to understand that again shorts are increasing their position whether it's Goldman, Sachs, whether it's Virtue, whether it's City, all of these people are increasing their short position. And we've known that we've seen that from data. This isn't just a trust me bro. This is from the filings that have been on public that we can see. And you guys can go take a look for yourself this all. This data is also something you guys can go and research, and this shows the fact that firstly they quote unquote covered, they quote unquote brought back, or they're short. But when you look at the buy volume in comparison to the total buy volume in terms of the short seller buy volume in comparison to total buy volume, you can see that it's tiny and you know that that isn't the all the shorts that they've brought back. And so the answer is has always been the same shorts, have never bought back the shorts, but only increased the short position. And so this again just shows you and lets you understand how big of a situation is and why they continuously try to suppress AMC furthermore. If we take a look at the reverse repo, what we're sitting at right now is $500.19 billion for the reverse repo. So again, a big decrease in the money available for. These short sellers for these headphones, you guys can see a correlation right now. As the reverse reaper goes down, what we're seeing is how shorts are trying to increase their position. The reason for this is because if they don't have the money available in the future, then the best thing they can do. Right now is suppress the price of AMC as much as possible, but what we have to understand that this is a double-edged sword. Yes, they can pile on and double down right now and bring the price of AMC down, but bear in mind is that in the future at any point, if the ELO were to mess up, if AMC were to suddenly see an increase in investors and the price up anything that just even breaches the margin requirements of these short sellers who are doubling down on these positions will easily get margin C, will easily default and get liquidated. And that's what we're looking out for anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. There is currently a correlation between the reverse reaper declining and how shorts are attempting to increase their position. If they don't have the money available in the future, then the most prudent thing they can do at the moment is suppress the price of AMC to the greatest extent possible. However, it is important to note that this is a double-edged sword while they may be able to pile on and double down temporarily and drive down the price of AMC. Bear in mind that bear in mind, there is currently a correlation between the reverse reaper declining and how shorts are attempting to increase their position. If they don't have the money available in the future, then the most prudent thing they can do at the moment is suppress the price of AMC to the greatest extent possible.